to light one candle, Mr. Chairman, than to curse the darkness, ladies and gentlemen. The thing that frustrated Karl Marx through his career and frustrates Marxists today is the ability of capitalism to reinvent itself. For all the palaver about the masses, Marx didn't get people. He did not understand the individual instinctive will to survive. He would not understand your instinctive evolutionary desire to do better for your family. You may remember, about 25 years ago, a devastating fire ran through Yellowstone Park. About a quarter of the park's woodland <coughs> was consumed, and park authorities were instantly criticized in the media for letting the fire burn, which they did. What the critics didn't understand, what every forester knows, is an old growth forest will choke on its own density unless it is cleared periodically with a fire. There are seeds that will lie in the ground for years until the heat of a forest fire bursts them open and allows the seeds to sprout. These financial forest fires we are coming through now have been interesting times indeed, but I'm sure you are as reassured as I am to learn that investor confidence is returning to the city and to Wall Street. It was reassuring, was it not, to read that Goldman Sachs is paying down its bailout loan and paying out bonuses again. And even hedge funds. One year ago, the terror of the banks, even hedge funds, are buying bank shares again rather than selling them all short. Of course, these are the redwoods that would survive a fire. And you're probably thinking, as I am, that this is an imperfect analogy. Because these institutions survived, and survive today, with at least, at the very least, implicit state guarantees. As one corporate lawyer in New York said recently, we're still talking parachutes, not green shoes. I like to try to think counter-cyclically. When times are good, I'm very cynical. In a recession, I'd rather light one candle than curse the darkness. So I did the only thing I could do. I went to Brooklyn. I went home, looked up an old friend, a childhood friend. He never went to university, but he is the single most entrepreneurial person I know. We went for a beer and I said, Pat, what are you doing these days? He said, tense. I said, you're feeling tense. Business is tense. These are tense times. He said, no, tense. Camping tents. I've been selling camping equipment. This might be a man who breaks in a sweat without concrete under his feet. I said, you hate camping more than I do. What do you know about camping? He said, I know people aren't going to expensive resorts anymore. And he's right. This is recession mentality. Even people with money are worried about spending it. But camping is cheap. Camping is green, it's eco-friendly. And Pat has just finished his backwards. This might not sound to you like the California Gold Rush, but remember this about the Gold Rush. It wasn't the prospectors who made money in the Gold Rush. It was the guys who sold picks and shovels and camping tents to the prospectors. They made money in the Gold Rush. Their demand built Port of San Francisco, which enabled the economic development of the West Coast. 
And that's what Marx just didn't get. The capitalist system does not <coughs> reinvent itself like some perpetual motion machine. Individual entrepreneurs like you and individual consumers like you must reinvent it after the fire. So while the recession is on, let's keep that eye out for the light at the end of the tunnel. We must always look towards the future. But in the meantime, for now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going back to my tent to light one candle, Mr. Chairman.